Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about exposure compensation and tell you about the three situations where you're likely to need to use it. If you're new to this channel, I'm Richard Gill, I'm a professional photographer and on here I provide free photography training for those of us who are a little bit older, maybe with some grey in our hair or not much hair left at all. If that sounds like you, please do subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it. Right, let's get straight into it. What are the three situations where you might need to use exposure compensation? Well, firstly, is where your camera is going to get it wrong. Those are scenes that are going to be contain a lot of white or contain a lot of black. And that's because your camera is trying to make everything look mid-grey. And we'll talk about that in more detail. The second situation is where there's a danger that your highlights or your shadows are going to get clipped. And I'll show you some examples of that too. And then finally, and perhaps the most interesting one, is where you want to change the look of your photo for your own creative benefit. So you'll want to adjust the exposure to maybe make something look darker or maybe make something look lighter to get a particular creative effect. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. So where do you find exposure compensation and how do you apply it? Well, on the Sony there is a dial on the top and by moving it to the plus symbols then I'm adding stop. So every one is a stop. If I go to the minus then I'm underexposing so that's negative exposure compensation. And if I show you where, where you can see a histogram as well uh, as I close down the aperture so letting more, less light then the histogram will move to the left. So here it is at minus two stops. You see it's bunching over to the blacks and shadows. And at minus three, it's bunched right across to the left of the histogram. So very underexposed. If you go the opposite way, you move it, of course, to the right. So at plus one, um, it's going over to the right. Plus two, it'll go over even further. And at plus three, you can, it'll, you'll see that it's uh, getting to be quite overexposed now. Now on a Nikon, there's this little button, the plus minus button, and you press that in and you turn the command dial at the same time. And depending on the direction you go, you apply the positive or negative uh, exposure compensation. Now, the situations where you use this, firstly, is when the camera gets it wrong. So I've got a black scene here. And if you haven't watched the video I did on histograms, I recommend you do that. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the video. And you can see here the camera's trying to make it look mid-grey. That's where the histogram is in the middle because that's what it expects to see. But we know this is a black scene, so we will get round this now by reducing uh, the aperture, going for a smaller aperture, so that's negative exposure compensation. And I probably need to go down about two stops to make that look black because I want to force the histogram over to the left there. And you can see at uh, an exposure compensation of minus two, I'm getting something that looks now realistic. Now, if we flip this over and put a white card in there, again, the camera is going to make it look gray. It wants the histogram to be in the middle because it expects mid gray. But we know it's white. So what we're going to have to do now is force that histogram over to the right. And we will do that by applying positive exposure compensation. And again, if I take that up by uh, two stops, then I'm getting something closer to uh, what it should be. Uh, the scene starts to look white. Now, another situation you want to avoid is clipping. And this is where you also use exposure compensation. So I've got a scene here with uh, a lot of contrast in it, very bright uh, in the right hand side of the scene and very dark actually looking forward. So I'm worried about my highlights getting clipped and my shadows. Um, now the main issue is with the exposure I've got set is actually the the highlights and the whites that's the bit of the frame on the right hand side. So if I dial in some negative exposure compensation to make sure those highlights aren't clipped I've set it at minus 1.7 then uh, I've avoided losing the detail uh, in that area. I've just got a tiny bit of clipping there and you can see in the final shot it looks okay. Now we use exposure compensation creatively when we want a different look to our photos. And a classic example of this might be taking a picture of a sunset. And here you can see 
what the camera's done is tried to make it mid gray so we've got a histogram broadly spread across the middle which is what we'd expect but what i really want to do is bring out the colors in the sky and if i apply some negative exposure compensation and here we are at minus one stop um, then we've started to develop some of the colors in the sky and if you see if i compare the two histograms with the original at the top and the uh, one for this photo with minus one exposure compensation you can see i've started to move the whole histogram over towards the black so i've moved it to the left and i've developed a bit more color in the sky as well now actually i feel i want to go a bit further with this so let's see how it looks with two stops of exposure compensation so that's reducing our aperture by two stops and you can see we've moved the histogram further over to the left and we've actually got a nicer looking photo and the whole reason i want to do this is because when i process that photo i want to bring up all that color in the uh, darks and shadows and you can see in the final image uh, when i've developed that that i've got a lot more uh, nice reds and oranges and an altogether more pleasing photo so that's how you would use exposure compensation creatively if you'd like to get more out of your camera consider watching some other videos in this playlist you can also join the nifty 50 photographers facebook group and there's a link in the description below if you're enjoying these videos please subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you next time